Amal Kumar and here is a very interesting question on composition of functions. Function of functions, we are basically looking into composition of functions. Okay, so the question is, you are given f of x equals to square root of 4 minus x square and g of x is equals to x square. Write f of g of x and find its domain and range, right? So that's the question for us. So let's begin by writing f of g of x. So when we say f of g of x, in that case, we have to start from the inside function, right? So inside function is g of x. So we'll replace that g of x with x square. Is it okay? So what do we get? So we get f of, so this is equals to f of g of x is x square. So we'll write here x square. Now, what is f of x? f of x is square root of 4 minus x square. So this x square now will be replaced by that x square, right? So, so that becomes f of x square basically will be square root of 4 minus x I'm replacing with x square, right? So we get x square and whole square. That is what you get. Do you get an idea, right? So that is the function which is f of g of x. Now, uh, so that could be your answer fairly well. Now we need to find domain and range. So how to find domain and range for this particular function? So for that, it's a good practice to factor this, right? So let me, let me factor this. We can write this as difference of squares. So I could factor this as 2 minus x squared times 2 plus x squared. Is it okay? So we get that as a factor. Now, how do you find domain of this function? Well, for domain, the inside term should always be positive, right? So, so let us try to find domain of this function now. So that is to say 2 minus x square times 2 plus x square should be greater than or equal to 0, right? So this is for inside should be positive. That is the domain, right? So that is what we get as our domain. Now, if you have this kind of a situation, then we know this has zeros as square root of 2. Now this term will be 0 for x we can write uh, x square equals to 2 or x equals to plus minus square root of 2 so there are two zeros so we have we have two zeros is that okay two zeros now with these two zeros we and this term is always positive as far as uh, 2 plus x square is concerned it is always positive Is it okay? This is always positive. Now, so that means whenever 2 minus x squared is positive, it is greater than 0. When it is negative, it is going to be less than 0. Is it okay? So that is how it is going to be. Now, what you can do here is there are so many ways to calculate from here the domain. So let's show you with a graph, right? So, so I'll plot a graph for 2 minus x squared, right? So I'll plot a graph for uh, 2 minus x squared. That is my function, okay? And this is x for us. So what do you see the graph as? Minus means opening downwards, correct? And we know it is 0 at plus minus square root 2. If I write x as 0, I get 2 as your maximum value. Is it okay? So I kind of get a graph like this. Perfect. Where this point for this particular function I'm talking about, maximum for only 2 minus x square will be at 2, right? And those points are at minus square root 2 and plus square root 2, right? So clearly we see that this function is positive or 0 in this interval. Is that okay? So that becomes the domain. So, so we can say very clearly from here that domain is when this is positive. So we can say domain is 
x belongs to real numbers when x is between square root of minus 2 or plus 2. Right. So that becomes the domain. Now the question is how to find range. To find range, we can find the value of this function. This is our function, right? So f of g of x at these three points and see these are the boundary conditions for us and see what do we get as the maximum, correct? Now 0 times anything is 0 we know. So at, at x equals to 0, we might get the maximum. So what we will do is so our function f of g of x is f of g of x is square root of 2 minus x square times 2 plus x square. You could use that one also, square root. So if I write x as 0, what do I get? So if I write f of 0 for this, right? so putting 0 here will give me 2 times 2 square root. So, so um, putting x as 0, right? So if I substitute 0 here, in that case, I get 2 times 2 square root, which is 4 square root, which is 2. Is that okay? So for my function f of g of x, I get value 2 as the maximum. The minimum value here is going to be, it has to be positive, right? The minimum value here is going to be 0 when if I write x value as square root 2 plus or minus, right? If I write plus or minus square root 2, the first term is 0, is that okay? So it becomes 2 minus 2, right? And here it becomes 2 plus 2 when I put square root 2, right? So that is 0. So the range here is that y belongs to real numbers and y value is between 0 and 2. So that is how you find domain range for this particular function. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. You can also find this using interval notation, right? I did a graph you could do with interval notation also, which is kind of like this. We have two zeros, one at uh, minus square root 2, the other one is plus square root 2, and we have two factors, right? So, so we could write this as uh, 2 minus x squared as one factor, 2 plus x squared as the other factor. We could take a test value on either side, in between 0 is a good value, and on the left side we could take minus 2, on the right side we could take plus 2. So if I write minus 2 here, this term is positive, I mean 2 minus 2, this becomes negative here. For 0, it is positive. For 2, it is positive. I'm sorry. If I write 2 here, 2 squared is minus 4. It is going to be negative. And the other term is always positive. So you can see very clearly from the interval that only in the middle between plus and minus 2, this term is positive and that becomes the domain, right? So you could use interval method also, right? So that is an alternate method. I prefer to use graph uh, when convenient, right? So I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos to learn and understand these topics. Thank you and all the best.